Hello, I'm uh, Fred Truyen from Leuven University and I'm here to present uh, the self-assessment tool that we are developing in the Horizon 2020 project Indices. I will uh, share my screen so that I can show you a few slides while I'm uh, explaining shortly what is on the poster that you also can find in the conference. So, uh, Indices is uh, funded by the Horizon 2020 uh, program of the European Union. And the goal of Indices is to stimulate uh, cultural heritage organizations to become active on the digital sphere and in the digital realm. Uh, by using open policies and um, for this we are uh, developing an assessment tool with which these organizations can assess uh, where they are in regards to sound digital strategies. For the Commission it's very important that also the cultural heritage institutions uh, prepare for readiness to enter the digital single market with services so that their outputs can be integrated in other economic activities. Now, um, in our work, we focus on what this means for digital transformation within these organizations, taking into account that most of these uh, heritage institutions, especially in Europe, are not for profit eh? and have mostly for benefit activities. Many of them are subsidized also. Um, we wanted to stress the importance of participatory perspectives because we think there is a major trend going on that through the digital and through the online interactions, communities are engaging with the collections in new ways and that heritage institutions should prepare for that. Uh, we want the self-assessment to be suitable also for smaller institutions. So it's not only meant for the top tier institutions, uh, but we really want to reach out uh, to the thousands of uh, small size and medium size institutions throughout Europe. And we want to make sure that their activities can be locally embedded by linking up to creative industries. Uh, as most of the partners in this Horizon 2020 project are strongly connected in heritage networks such as Europeana or NEMO, mm -hmm. um, we of course uh, want to explore the strengths of uh, networked operations uh, to uh, gain digital proficiency. Now, there are many tools to self-assess digital strategies and digital performance currently available online, and many are used in Europe, uh, like uh, the Digital Culture Compass, uh, the Collections Trust uh, benchmarks, uh, uh, the Microsoft uh, framework for libraries and archives and museums, and um, the enumerate observative observatory that emanates from the Dutch uh, Heritage Network and which is consolidated at Europeana. Now, our concept um, uh, starts from a study of these existing tools where we see that mostly they focus on elaborating a digital strategy starting from the digital collections and the digital workflow that is required to support digital collections. And uh, this means that um, in these tools often uh, First of all, the workflow is elaborated, but then um, 
the necessary capacity building and training for the staff and selecting the right competencies are addressed. Uh, also, the whole copyright issues of publishing collections is taken under the loop so that you can convert your uh, digital uh, contents to real assets that can be used for agency in the single market. Uh, now, uh, under influence of uh, the work of Simon Tanner on the balanced value model that specifically uh, tries to develop indicators uh, uh, for impact assessment um, of uh, heritage institutions and, and GLAM institutions, uh, we try to see how the underlying business model can be adapted to the non-for-profit uh, priorities of these organizations. Um, what we certainly um, stress is the urgent need for an overall life cycle sustainability plan uh, for these digital strategies. Uh, we often see that uh, museums venture into high level 3D experiments, but uh, do not always take into account that you, after a few years, need to revise uh, these solutions to adapt uh, to uh, uh, technology evolutions. But we don't think we can stop there with the, the revised uh, value model. We took some inspiration from uh, Pierluigi Sacco's work and uh, uh, Pierluigi is uh, a member of the Horizon 2020 consortium that runs the Indicious project where we uh, had a look at the participatory practices that uh, uh, recalibrate uh, culture experiences today and, and where the online space is really the driver of new connections, new participations of communities and new engagement uh, with uh, the heritage. And so uh, we think there is a need for an outside-in approach compared to the former discussed inside-out approach. We would talk now about an outside-in approach where you don't start from the collections, but from the communities and stakeholders that can take an interest in transforming these collections into a shared heritage. And then we look at practices uh, such as crowdsourcing, co-creation, uh, and what this entails for organizing the workflow in your organizations. This means a need to empower not only your staff, but also the stakeholders and, and the communities themselves. And this uh, makes for the development of the need of new online tools for community management. So uh, adding to your uh, museum portal really a space where you can engage with audiences and manage these engagements. And in this way, we think we could help uh, GLAM institutions to take the route to more sustainable development of their activities, more community supported development, and this is what Pierluigi Sacco calls Culture 3.0. Now, the self-assessment tool will be based on interactive surveys, uh, on digitization, target audiences, value chains, etc. And uh, But the, the difference with the classic survey is that you will immediately get uh, section per section uh, a feedback report that assesses you against uh, similar organizations, uh, uh, lays out a roadmap for you and uh, gives hints to uh, uh, deepening resources, connections to communities, connections to online discussions, etc. So this we realize in our participatory space. Now, the participatory space will be fed through these interactions with the self-assessment tool, but also with what we collect 
online uh, through monitoring online activity on Twitter, uh, Facebook, all these kind of feeds. And we use for that the web lizard technology. You see here uh, an example uh, of a query on digital transformation on this uh, tool where uh, institutions will be able to browse uh, GLAM relevant trending data. It is then all integrated in our participatory platform. We use for this a platform that uh, Decidim that has been developed to encourage participation, uh, mostly in uh, communities in, uh, on the communal level. In, in, there are many cities using this software and we use it for the building these GLAM communities. So that is what we are working on. And we will have final versions in the fall to present. Um, but we are very interested what happens also outside Europe. So in the US, in Asia, um, if you have um, similar work or experiences, please contact us. And for the moment, uh, I would say uh, thank you for your attention. And uh, if you look up indices, uh, uh, on the web, you will find our portal and you will be able to engage with our uh, quite strong partnership. So thank you for your uh, attention.